Welcome to the Complete Runner Podcast. This is episode number six, and today we have some special guests from London Strong Foundation. So right with us is Tina and Kristen and Mary. And so I'm going to start off with asking you, Tina, could you tell us a little bit about, well, London um, and the legacy that she's, that she's left behind? Well, she was um, a special little girl, you know, and from the, all the videos, um, you can obviously tell she loved life. Uh, she just wanted to have fun all the time. She wanted a million friends. Um, she wanted everybody to be her friend. She liked to be the center of attention, um, but in a good way. She wanted to be the class, she was the class clown. Um, loved her family that came first, her friends, and always wanted to help people, especially elderly. She had a special place in her heart for the elderly and cats. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, and um, she just was a great, great kid. Athletic, gymnast, all A's. So she was, she was a great, great kid. So uh, explain to people that are watching that might not know, you know, what, what, what happened to, to London. Right, she um, had an undetected heart condition. It's called long QT. And it's um, it's the electrical signals in the heart. Uh, when your heart, it tells your heart to beat, you know, to pump the blood, to contract. Um, is this something that doctors are looking at or that show up in tests? Yes, is it EKGs. Okay. Okay, but she had no symptoms at all. I mean, she was doing flips in the air the day before. She was in gymnastics. She did like 20 hours of gymnastics a week. Never complained. Um, and uh, what happens is with the long QT is that those uh, signals are a little bit too far apart. <laughs> and when she went down a water slide, went to a water park on February uh, 18th of 2018, and uh, it threw her into a rhythm. She got scared, too excited, it threw her into a rhythm, and she went into cardiac arrest. Uh, you can live all your life and have this condition and not and never know. know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, or you can have EKGs done and it can detect it, and sometimes it may not. So is this something that that family should go to their family doctor and get tested for? Well, that's the thing. Um, you really, the doctors won't just give you an EKG for no reason. Yeah. Um, I wish and I would love to see it be part <laughs> of, you know, our routine, like our yearly um, checkups, especially for kids. Um, it just takes five minutes to do, and mm -hmm. it's not expensive. It's not expensive to get it done. I don't understand why it's not, you know, included. But um, I'm working on that. I'd love to make changes with that. Um, but like I said, sometimes it won't detect it either. I mean, she could have had an EKG done a week before, and we're not 100% positive that it would have showed up. Yeah. So let's talk about you. You want to you want to make some of those changes. So after she passed, you started the London Strong Foundation. Right. And. What is that foundation doing today? Well, oh my gosh, the past year we... <laughs> what isn't that foundation know, doing today? Right. This, this has been a crazy roller coaster ride. And um, what we do is we bring awareness to CPR and AEDs and how it can save lives. And um, we've granted, so far we're right, we're on grant number eight and nine. Okay. And those eight and nine will be donated at the race. They'll be presented at the race. And so those are AEDs that you're giving to... We've granted, yeah, yeah. right. And we make sure that the whoever gets it, they're trained, CPR trained. And I do a AED presentation, like a tr little training for mm -hmm. them and make sure that their emergency protocol is all set up. And so we're not only granting AEDs, but we're making sure they're trained in knowing how to use them as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so with that, I mean, you have her legacy and all this education that's going into it, um, but she brought so much joy. And that's something, Mary, that, you know, you kind of championed of, let's remember her in another way as well, and that is the London Strong 5K that is now on its second year. How? Tell me about your thoughts on, like, how that all started and, and what your ideas were. Um. Well, actually, one day I was just, I was registering for a race, and this was shortly after London had passed, and I was thinking about, um, at her memorial, people were talking about how she was the fastest kid in her class, and 
I was thinking about how I wish I could be as fast as London. And then it dawned on me, well, we just need to do a race for London. And I messaged Tina, and then I messaged you right after that. And I know when you came in to me, I had heard the story. You know, I, I unfortunately never got to meet her, but you started showing me videos of all the stuff that she loved and kittens and her love for life and all this stuff. And, um, and it was amazing. And all of a sudden, you know, I know personally, um, it touched me very, very quickly. And I saw all these cool things that you guys wanted to do, um, for the race. So race day events. So Kristen, there are some amazing things that you guys have put together for that first year and definitely for this second year coming up but i thought the first year last year was the most <laughs> it, it wasn't it, it wasn't a 5k to me it was like a family friendly animal friendly a carnival exactly a carnival yeah. yeah and this year she's stepped up the the game so bad. we got let's see what do we have extra this year she's got um the rock walls coming up the marines are doing the rock, uh -huh. rock army. Wall, army i'm oh, yeah. sorry <laughs> Um, there's going to be a therapy horse that's going to be there. Equine. Equine horse. Yep. We got a water tank with ice cold water to dunk a few so who, news anchors. Who, I was going to say, who's going in this tank? Well, you. You are. <laughs> <laughs> You're pulled out. Wait, how do you know about this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't say tell anybody, so now it's going to be out, but that I was adding ice and turning it into a polar plunge. Well, thing, you, you know, you got to you gotta make it you gotta know, shake over the it top up a little bit. Yeah. So a little extra. Yeah. A little yeah. extra. Um, so, and then we've got the Humane Society will come out and have kittens. Um, Flint City Pits, they're a rescue. Um, we have several, we have a obstacle course and air, one of those air bouncy obstacle courses, face painting, everything you can imagine for kids. But then also you have stuff for adults too that might be waiting around while their family races. Um, I hear something about a hot air balloon. Yes. Yes. Hot air balloon ride. There's so much stuff. <laughs> yes. keep it up. It's not going to be floating to the clouds, but it's for yes. the, you know, it's for yes. kids and the parents that don't want to float all the way up to the clouds. Yeah. <laughs> like me. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Tina said we have a, we have a, Hot air balloon ride for right. the kids, and I'm like, "What do you mean for the what kids?" What do you just for the kids? Yeah, yeah. 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 Carrie Johnson yeah. and Who, Mickey. What else? And did I miss any of these crazy, um, not crazy, but fun, exciting? Yeah. yeah. What else things is there? For the kids? Cotton, the floating cotton candy. You know those big giants. Mm -hmm. We have that guy coming out, and you know we. It's a lot. It's a well, lot. We really make it fun. Exactly. I mean, and, it, it's a celebration after after all. Right, so right. you know, it's got and lots of shopping. Fun. Yeah. And vendors. Yep. Um, all the vendors, there's so many. And so it's like you're going to, if you're familiar with the crim and you like the crim, how they have all the vendors set up, it's going to be like that, just less running attire. Mm -hmm. So it's more there's health and fitness vendors, um, schools, uh, from anywhere to anywhere, A to Z, you've got several vendors. So there's something for everyone. And I think it's certainly something that takes this race to a different level than any other race you'll ever run. Yeah, yeah. I, I would 100% agree with that. Not only for the cause, um, because all of this goes to London Strong Foundation. Right. So everything that's that's going into this goes back into the foundation and is going to AEDs. Right, right. right. Yep. And, and, the, and the education. I mean, that that's right. a big part of it, I guess, as well as CPR and, and first aid and everything. And else. some of it goes to pet rescues, too. We support pet rescues. Our main goal is the AED, though, mm -hmm. and the CPR. But she loved kitties so much, I know that she'd want us to help <laughs> them out, too. So, and we actually have a store out in uh, Puerto Rico, in Vieques. Yeah. There's a London Strong store there that supports. Um, it's like another avenue of income for us. Uh, they we give them twenty percent, and it goes to their local humane society, the Island of Vegas. And we're actually we're talking about having a race out there in February too. Very cool. So London Strong Five K is going global, right? Well, <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> Let's get through this one yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Tina, tell me about the race itself. When is it? Who can participate? Like all the good stuff. Okay, well, it's Thursday, July 25th. So it's coming up here pretty soon. Right, and um, 4.30 is when you can start coming in and mm -hmm. pre-registration. If you decide to be one of those people like me, I'll admit that I go <laughs> last minute with everything. Um, but sign up But now. yes, you should sign up now. Don't do what I do. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, 
be how, there from four thirty. How can you sign up? Well, you can go to LondonStrong5k.com and okay. I'll direct you to the uh, London Strong. Uh, our the registration reg link. Well, yep, there's the registration link there, but the original page. Okay. LondonStrong.org, LondonStrongFoundation.org. Um, you could do that. There's a Facebook page. And that we'll I have. put all these right. links here so you can you can check them out. Yeah. Um, so they can also print out. Uh, a paper application if they want, if they right. don't want to go on to the registration. Right. And, and they can they can fill, fill runner as well. They can, right. they can stop of, in here. And get some shoes. Yeah, get some yeah. shoes. But we got applications here. Um, so it's Thursday, July 25th. Right. Uh, what goes on during the day? So uh, 4.30, so you, you know, you can come, start coming. We have, you know, the rock climbing wall. We have pull-up bar. The Marines are coming out. Right the Air on. Force is coming out. See, the I, obstacle I think bars. Mary could probably rip yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, um, we, know. you know, we have a lot of fun things. The dogs, we have dog things, uh, dog items to buy, shirts for dogs, harnesses, capes. Uh, capes. We have hero, our, our superhero capes. Are dogs allowed at the event? Oh, yeah. So bring, bring the them dogs. on out if you want. Bring the dogs See, that, on, a cool. on a leash. On a leash, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be responsible and maybe a little, and little, a bag. little bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it was a great turnout last year. We had a lot of dogs there. It was fun. It was That's just like a family, mm -hmm. like, event. I, I wanted more than just the 5K. I wanted it to be, you know, bring the community together. And a lot of London's friends, they're all coming out. And um, it's celebration. Celebration. So, so four thirty, they can come and start picking up stuff and right. show up and kind of do some of the festivities. Right. And then, what time do? Because there's a kids run. Right. So, if you've got kids, make sure to sign them up because Cute. we have a small little kids run, which is called. Well, Kristen came up with this name. <laughs> yeah, I love it. A, I know. She it's has best. the best idea. <laughs> the kid and caboodle. There you go. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so what time does the kids start? Uh. Okay, six o'clock. Six o'clock, and then uh, the runners are at six thirty. Six thirty, and so then when that is done, uh, awards are after that, awards. and then a dance party. The race. Right. We have DJ Chachi there, and he's oh, yeah. playing the tunes. Oh, yeah. he's, you know how he awesome. is. Yeah, he's... And um, he's we're doing a dance party at, after. Right. So on. it's like Mary's after the race. <laughs> you know, there's going to be more festivities. So don't leave. You know, yeah, stay, hang, hang, hang around. Down. And we're doing a dance party. You know, he's. Yeah, so there, there's a, there's also uh, uh, age group awards. So right, yeah. you know, come out, have fun. Um, it's it's a it's a fun race, but also there's some awards out there for people oh, yeah. that are Serious that are competitive. Well, we have all teams. We have the teams this year. The dream teams. teams. Yes. Yeah, and um, yeah, dream teams. And um, right now, I think it's Dort Federal, Dort Federal is ahead with 28 on their team. Wow. And the most that's participants huge. gets a prize. I have a prize for each person that's in that team. Very, so. very cool. So yep. round up Crystal your your peeps and, and come on up. Do they have to sign up uh, separately as a, as a team? Or how right. does that work? Well, they you create a team okay. and whoever um, wants to sign up, they find the team name. You'll have to create two teams, like a run, under a run and mm -hmm. under a walk. But we combine those numbers okay. for the race day on yeah. race day, because um, some people want to walk. I was just going to say, and so it's not just for runners. It's not a five k run, but it's for everyone. And we have right. virtual this year too. I just added. So you everything. don't even have to be there. Well, yeah. we got to run. You can't be there. Exactly. Yeah, there are there. some people coming from out of state. Yeah. But... Or people that live all over the place right. and can't make it in. You yeah, can still support some the cause. From Canada to oh. run. Yeah, yep. very, very cool. Oh, it'd be fun. I forgot to mention part of the festivities. We have a silent auction this year. All right. Thank so you. that will be, we'll have a closing time for that, which will probably end right before awards are handed out. So okay. Mad Chaos at the last minute to get your bids in, but we have lots of awesome things. I was going to say, any notable items that people should know about and make sure that they that come is, in and check out? Uh, Mary Henry was yeah. Yeah, doing that, but she said she got a horse rides. Like a horse I'm not ride. sure of what's in there, but there's a whole All bunch. sorts of good All stuff. Kinds of yeah. stuff. So make sure when you come out, check that out. Yep. Um, very cool. So basically, this is for everyone, family, animals. You might even leave with an animal. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I got you don't city pits. Um, they're bringing their pit bulls. Um, I have, a, like, the Humane Society, Adopt a Pet, 
And so, I yeah, people, all dog. the kittens went last year. Wants a puppy. That's <laughs> <laughs> so last year, how many people ended up? What was it? I know it was like 890 up. registrations. And how many people did you expect for this person? What did they say? 150? <laughs> 200. 200. 150, 200. Then it got to 500, and then we went into panic mode. Right. <laughs> and then as it got closer, yeah, it was five. That was a hot mess last year. What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, so no, it, it definitely, I think we're a little bit more prepared for the amount of people mm -hmm. this year. Well, it kind um, of broke the rules of first year races. Yeah, for just, sure. Those numbers don't ever happen yeah. on the first year race. Which, those which numbers awesome. don't even happen on many other right. animal races. <laughs> yeah. It's right. crazy. And another thing that has, uh, has helped promote this race is the amount of sponsorship. Wow. The yes, people in the community that have stepped up. And everyone wants to be involved, mm -hmm. but I know you're probably still uh, um, taking sponsorships. Right, so, you know, how, if someone is interested in, in helping out with the race, how, who do they contact? How do they become a sponsor? <laughs> what, who, who find, how do they find out about the different levels? Well, um, we have it posted on the race page. Okay. I'll probably have to post it again so it's at the top of yeah. the news feed. But you can find it in the race page. And uh, we have a sign-up genius where you can sign up. There's slots. Uh, three Please hour slots. visit the sign Please. of genius. Yes. We need yes. more volunteers. We need we'll we'll put, put a link in right. here. Yeah. Well. Right here. Um, That's what makes it a success, you know, yeah. the volunteers. We need them too. Volunteers are huge, and yes. a so lot a of them showed up last year. It was It's incredible to see how many people want to be involved in this. Not only just racers and, uh, and people coming out to participate, but people that want to just help. Mm -hmm. right, which which right. is which is awesome. It's been amazing. It really has, and you know, the community coming together. And it's been overwhelming. overwhelming. Yeah, so. yeah, shows shows what an impact London has has made and continues to make. Oh, so I see you. You have a medal here. Yes, they just came today. And this, I just picked them up. Hot off the press. So yeah. this is the medal for this year. Do you want to spin and it? I'll check it. how cool this. It's probably one of the coolest medals I've seen. It is the coolest but, one you've ever had. You know, look at that thing With spin angel around. Wings. Yes. Right. Very cool. So that is something. That's part of the swag that you get when you sign up. So they'll get a, a finisher's medal. Um, they get uh, a shirt. So yes. shirts. I don't have the shirt with me today, but yeah. Do you have uh, more than one option on shirts? Yes, we have cotton and we have tech. Okay. So is there upcharge for the tech? It's five dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So you probably want that tech shirt. So even the bib is special. Yeah. Look at the even bib. our bib is special. It's not just your regular white bib with a red number. It's a personalized. So the earlier you sign up, the, the more you're guaranteed for one of these beautiful bibs. A metal shirt, bib. a shirt, especially if they want a tech shirt. Right. And then you know, you know, medals and all this kind of stuff. Don't right. wait to last minute right. because obviously we know what happened last year and day of. Right. Hundreds of people showed up that weren't expected. Right. So. I have already 700 put, of put, these. put that down. So see, seven, and then we have some left over from last year, like yeah. 130. So. So if you want, if you, you want, want spinner, if you right? want this, then, you know, <laughs> right. sign up. Register sign up early. Soon. And speaking of like all the stuff that we have out here as well. So there is a lot of London Strong uh, merchandise that you've put together. Um, some amazing stuff, actually, uh, to help the foundation and again, help all those AEDs. Um, what's some of the cool stuff? I know you got some new stuff that, you, that you'll be, you, that you have um, to race. Um, but anything you want to kind of mention of? Well, we have, I didn't bring everything because it wouldn't fit here. I really <laughs> have a I have no new way. sweatshirts that are the lighter, uh, the Zen, they yeah. call them. Yeah. There's like a lighter washed out and they're great for summertime mm -hmm. on a cool night. We have baseball tees. I have a new logo, as you can see. We have a new mm -hmm. logo. Nice. And then we have the hashtag London Strong. I don't know Mary, if you want to hold that up so they can see. Yes. And hashtag and it's a baseball thing. And, and, then, nice and baseball then Kristen is wearing one of my faves right here. Don't be depressed. Love life. Be happy. Set your, Set dreams. your dreams. London straight from London. Boat. Yep. So that you know we have new bracelets. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We so like here. all, I mean, all of this stuff. And where can you find this stuff? Can you go on London Strong's page and order stuff? Um, I know there's a local shop in Grand Blank right. that carries a lot of this. It's Bubble BT. They're actually our our main storefront. Very they cool. offered a storefront to us, and um, 
huge supporters and I know you have a few things yeah, here. Yeah, we, we got some we got some items. So when you come in to sign up for the race, you can you yeah, can we'll also buy some, some, right. some of the I am setting up a website. I just have to wait. I'm overwhelmed right now. With the show. <laughs> a, lot, a lot going on. Yeah. And um, after the race, I will get that up, and then it can be shipped out to them as well. Very, very cool. Um, anything else you want to add about the race? Did we get everything? No, because there's going to be there's more. So <laughs> I'll, I'll ask you guys. It's going and going. You know, I'm, you I'm you extra. extra we we the do top. have the... Um, the crystal trophies for the overall yeah. meal. They're blue top. this year. They are blue beautiful. this year. Yes. Very, Very cool. Yes. Uh, and thanks to Mission Awards. For right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. With this yeah, too. They've, they've done an amazing job. And they've been donating. Job. They did yeah. donating overall. Female, male. It's wonderful. Right. They, he read the story and he was like, I want to do that for you every year. Again, more so, and more people just coming right. out to help help support. That's I think cool. one thing maybe we talked about it, but if we didn't, early re or, or packet pickup on the Wednesday before. Yep. The race. Did we talk about? Oh, that? we did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so go that's ahead. Wednesday from ten to six thirty p.m. If you come in a complete runner, grab your. You'll get your t-shirt, your bib, and you'll have a chance to maybe look at some of this London swag that we have. Yeah, check but it's it out. really, really going to benefit you by not having to be in that long line the day. Right. Out. It was crazy Absolutely. because that line last year was. <laughs> but we're going to have more. Uh, cashiers this year. Yeah. More We're cashiers more organized this year. Still, yeah. we've learned a lot. Come early. Pick, pick up yes. early. You get your bib. Get your shirt. Relax. Talk with everyone about the course and all the cool stuff that's going on. Uh, buy some of the merchandise to help support the foundation. And then when you rock up, you can enjoy the festivities. You, you know, right. and it's a it's a good time. So tell me a little bit about the location of the race. So it's at Bicentennial, yep. uh, which I don't know if everyone's familiar with it, but it is a very cool park. Right. Um, and it seems to be very well suited for an event like this, other than the numbers. <laughs> right. I mean, right. But, but it is a perfect place to have the carnival we were talking well, about. Yeah, right, right, right. The London Strong Carnival. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but you've also been able to we granted help, them, help they, them as well yeah right. because yeah. um you know they need one out there in the fields there's a lot of soccer and kickball and softball, softball, softball baseball, yeah. and uh, the trails and park, right and yeah. people there's everything there to there. train running all the time there's always runners out there's always a ton of people out there right so they're going to have it out there and well they have it now it's going to be in the building that's by what is it the kickball softball fields in the front Closer to Grand Blank Road. The pavilion okay. on, on the other side. Yeah, the, the, the South Pavilion. Okay. It's like closer course. there. Yeah. Um, so they'll have it there. And um, and they have golf carts that they go around and check in on things, right? So if there was an emergency, it could get there fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah well, right. so we're going to have golf carts at the race. Oh, yeah. There's we will, in, um, we'll have golf carts as well. Actually, to help we're going to have around people. quite a few yeah. AEDs there. I have an ambulance that's going to be there. Elite EMS is coming. Um, I have a, I have a lady bringing two of her AEDs, and I requested CPR certified people to be on the course, and some are you know actually running too. But I want eyes is, out. Is is that know, is that something? Just kind of talking about you know the the festivities and all that stuff, and all the vendors are going to be out there. Are there going to be medical per, uh, personnel that are going to have an AED so oh, people mm -hmm. can can come up and see? Because, I mean, I think that's probably a lot of the public is they're afraid they're of afraid. something like that. Right. They don't know how it works in, obviously, in a life or death situation, that's a huge deal. Right. Mm -hmm. So am I a little hesitant? And now maybe that brings it a little, mm -hmm. little more real of, oh, here it is. This is how it works. It's it's not difficult to use, and that's where Elite EMS. They were there last year with the mm -hmm. ambulance, and they're mm -hmm. going to set up the mannequins, and they're going to do CPR demo, and they'll have the AED demo, and um, and I want to make sure that you know the course is safe too. Yeah. So I'll have monitors, and um, just make sure that the course is safe. And if somebody, God forbid, you know it's not going to <laughs> knock on wood, but if we have to, we're prepared. And I, your comment about the fear of looking at an AED and the fear of ever needing to use one. That's also part of the mission of the foundation is to do the CPR training, which also is AED training. So you learn 
if you do take those classes and you become certified, you will learn how easy an AED is to use. The hard part, honestly, is the CPR. That's the, the scarier part to me at this point in time. Um, but the AED talks to you. It walks you right through everything you need to do. You can't mess it and up. And it even does the, uh, the like a pulse, pulse right? the pulsing. Yep. yep. It'll make a noise and so it tells you, you know, keep your rhythm going. Keep the rhythm going and continue CPR, um, analyzing rhythm, stand back, shock the heart, continue CPR if you need to. We really, really, really want to take that fear out of people right, right. Um, for AEDs or CPR. Take that fear away and you put more safety concerned people into the community and well, you know as a society here it's like this if somebody chokes out public mm -hmm. what's your first instinct Heimler. which everyone knows yeah. oh, everybody's everyone gonna try knows. to do that the Heimlich or they're gonna try yeah. to you know yeah help yep. now as a society we're not there yet if somebody collapses the CPR coming in I think people get afraid mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and use an AED they get scared they're gonna hurt themselves or the person but it, it will can't. not shock i don't know it what won't. i'm doing I right you be, cannot hurt them. it will not this, yeah. it won't shock unless it has to yeah. it won't shock unless it has to and um i would love to like i said as society to get to that point where people can react the response time is very crucial for every minute that goes by without cpr and aed your chances of you know to survive are they decrease by 10 percent mm -hmm. And a lot of that is the education of it, but also having the equipment there. Right. If it's, if it's right. not there, then you can't. But use the CPR it. is very crucial. Right. But yeah, yeah. And that's that's CPR, you go. Know, you want everybody yeah. yes, you know to know even CPR. Even if it's only CPR, and then the AED is part of CPR. But if it's not there, you continue CPR until the AED gets to the victim. Right. And like I said, without the CPR, in, including the CPR, um, every minute that goes by, ten percent chance decrease of survival. And mm -hmm. Uh, you know those seconds count seconds count right and you have to respond you have to keep quickly. That, the blood flow and the oxygen going right. through the brain. seconds count you have to just keep working yeah awesome cool. okay so one thing we like to do on the podcast is we like to do the big three so big three is um three questions just kind of about uh since this is usually running related um so the first one we start off with is your favorite race so we can just go down the line. We'll yeah. start with you, Mary. She's got a lot to choose from. You've, got, you've like got a few under hundreds. your belt. What's your favorite race? One. you got to say one. One? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my favorite race is Run Woodstock. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I, I, say too, I, yeah. me, I can't yes. help it. It's the atmosphere. And, and Don't they run nude? It's in <laughs> probably. There is, there is, there is, there is a race for that. Yeah, it's yeah. just yeah. a small part of it. But I'm, I'm an outdoor girl, <laughs> and I love the woods, and it's just it's a cool beautiful. The Potawatomi yeah. trails are just gorgeous. Yeah, Kristen, what about you? I actually ran a lot a long time ago, but... So what was your favorite one? Um... Besides the crim, I think that's yeah. everybody's go-to. But I like the scrumpy skedaddle and running through those fields and <laughs> not be. I loved it. It was so much fun. I had my best time there. Um, and then you get all the yummy. Oh yeah, good yeah. Stuff so yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I would have to say that's my favorite race. Scrumpy, yeah, it's cool. Well, you know? I'm not a runner, obviously, <laughs> as you can see. Now, you <laughs> but I'll tell you, I've only done three ever, and the crim. And it was superhero, and then we just did oh, yeah, Mercy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I I love the superhero. Yeah, how everybody's dressed cool up. One. That was but you know, Wings of Mercy was amazing too. And you know, when I was going, when I was running down the runway, I heard like it sounded like a jet, and I thought the airplane was taking off. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize till the second time. Oh, that that's a speaker. <laughs> But I don't know. I, I want to say superhero because it's kids and I could see London right. doing it. Right and and just, you got to wear your capes. Yes, yes and, you got yeah. to wear the London capes. We were but, right. London superheroes. Yeah, right. exactly. Um, second question is going to be most memorable race experience. Now, this could be good or bad. We've had some funny, really bad stories. Um, or oh, it can I be can just, <laughs> or it's just like a, a memorable good one. So, Mary, what, what, what do you got? A memorable good one. Yeah, or, 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 or bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. You want to throw it out there. You can. Sometimes on those long runs. As embarrassing as you want. You know, I think the most memorable thing was the, after the crumb. And when I met um, Julius Kogo. And I read about him 
in Runner's World magazine, mm -hmm. and to actually see him was really cool. But what made it really memorable, because I, I told him, I'm like, I remember you from Runner's World magazine, and he's like, I remember you from the conga line back then. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's yeah, a, that that's was a cool memorable. memory. That's a good one. Kristen, what about you? Um, I think it would have to be when I was 19. I started, I did the crim training group on its second year, so I'm probably dating how old I am, but oh well. <laughs> um, and I trained for that race. It was before I was married, and I was heart and soul, blood, sweat, and tears into that race. And when I, I never thought I'd be able to run more than a mile. Um, and crossing that finish line was probably the most emotional I've ever been. It was like instant tears. It's like you're proud of yourself. Yeah. We don't think a lot of times we don't give ourselves enough credit. We're not too proud of what we do. And in that moment, I was like, I can do anything yeah. that I want right. to do if right. I put my mind to, to it. So that was my most memorable. I think that was in 99. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. What about you, Tina? Again, I don't want <laughs> <run> that <there. laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to say London's race last year yeah. because exactly what you said, Kristen, people were crying going across that finish line. And I, her family, like cousins were crying and because they were doing it in her honor. Mm -hmm. A lot of her friends, they were crying because they were doing it in her honor. And, and that was so emotional for me right there. Um, just the whole race was, you know, to see everybody. But when I saw them crying, crossing the finish line, that was, I, that I'll never forget. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, it, that's, was, that's, it was a lot of family, family cousins, cousins and friends, and every, and strangers too, I think. I was going to say, everyone, complete strangers who. There were a lot of just people tough. that never dreamed of running ever, ran just for this race. So that's how that, much of an says, impact. It says a lot about it. Um, okay, so last one is going to be the coolest thing you ever got from a race. What 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 is the coolest thing you ever got from a race? The coolest thing, other than our medals that we <laughs> yeah. other than our medals we that we give ourselves. Yet, no. um, the coolest thing, ooh, the coolest thing I ever got um, from a race was when I did the marathon at Run Woodstock, and I was actually I finished in my category, which was kind of crazy. So I got this really cool little. VW bug with uh -huh. a surfboard on top that said H category winner. Oh, and yes, you love that, so that thing, way. don't you? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Kristen? Um, the most, or the best thing? Let's see. Drunk? No, I'm kidding. I was just going to say. <laughs> scrumpy skin scrumpy, scrumpy skin you know, yeah. some cider. Cider. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I, I, don't, know, I don't drunk the pan, pan, Pancakes. Drunk. Pancakes were good. Um, pancakes. I don't have a lot of... Um, Things, but I will. I would probably say the one, the Michigan Mile, mm -hmm. the day before the cram. I do that with my kids, or my my kid, one of them, and that is so cool to run that yeah. and get that medal. Uh -huh. It's so pretty. You can never have enough. Yeah. So I would say the Michigan <laughs> yeah. Mile medal. Very cool. Yeah. What about you? Like I said, I. All right, so you're I'm not. Sorry. Um, I don't have it. I don't remember. I don't even know where my medals are. I mean, I got my wings that from Wings of Mercy, the wing one, but right. I didn't get anything like just only medals. You took the best picture at the crim the one year though. Which one? Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. That was people were like, oh, you look like I don't know, like I was, you know. She I wasn't. Like, she I looked like know. a total model. Were you running? Right. Right. Like, I, was running. I can't. Were you running? Did you say, hey, there was no picture. sweat or anything? No, so I didn't even know when anybody was taking it. <laughs> that was, yeah. I did cram a few times. See, yeah. there's your. I have foot problems, so it's hard <laughs> to run 10 miles. I went limping in mile eight and <laughs> trying to call somebody to come oh, get you, me. You get it get it done every time. Though. Right, I did. Yeah, oh. <laughs> um, Okay, uh, just to kind of uh, wrap everything up, is there anything that you want to talk about as far as London Strong Foundation that we haven't covered that you just want people to know about or anything about the race that you want people to know well, about? Well, we covered like everything that's going to be there, um, stay, you know, after for the festivities. Yep, hang, hang out, don't just hang disappear out, after, the, um, after the runner walk. You know, there's shopping, lots of shopping. Um, and like you said, all that money goes, that's how we get our AEDs. Yeah. Um, the more we sell, the more we can give back. And um, you never know. It might be you one day or someone you know that needs it. 
Yeah. No one's exempt from this. I mean, London was 10 with no condition at all that we knew of, an athlete. And um, you just never know who's going to need it. And I, we've put them out within our community. We try to stay local, mm -hmm. but we have gone, you know, across the borders too. But, um, and they won't keep me from giving away, like, in a different state. That's fine. But um, the more we get out there, you just never know. It could be somebody that would affect you that's going to need the AED. Like with Mary Smith, with Tommy's heart, she gave the AED to uh, Camp Coat McConnick. And, and when they were doing they a training, that. Right. they were training, the coaches or the counselors were doing an emergency training, and he collapsed. And they used the AED that Tommy's heart donated. So yeah, I know, me too. And right. so you it's, just never know. That is what it's all about. No, it came full right circle right. and yeah. right back. Mm -hmm. and, and we, me and Mary and I, we, we spoke about this. And um, I, she goes, it's bittersweet. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hurtful, but it's but, good feeling yeah. too. And um, you just never know. And you don't want anybody to ever have to feel the pain that you like right. feel. And um, you How, never know. For, they have to use it one day. For, for these AEDs. Um, how do you get on the list to maybe get one? How do you pick who receives those? Okay, so you know we just had the grant mm -hmm. now, but I have them at home, and we're going to get together um, and announce it soon. But um, we try to target places that have a lot of kids mm -hmm. um, and a lot of traffic. Okay, so... Um, what we gave to a church that had a daycare in, in a dance studio oh, wow. yeah. to get they were kind of combined together. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did a church, yeah, that um, for, with a daycare, yep, a school preschool. Yes, I think a yeah, whole it school. It was a preschool. Yeah. It went up to like eight, twelfth grade too. So it was a school connected, um, and they, that one was special one because um, actually Kristen's son donated that one. For his birthday, he raised the money mm -hmm. and um, donated it to London. It was like her birthday yeah. gift. Yeah. And um, like five months before London passed away, our kitty, Milan, which was her, she was taking care of her. She had lymphoma. And we took her to a church to get blessed. Um, and, you know, I took pictures. I posted them. Mm -hmm. um, people saw. Um, and it was London's idea. She wanted to bless Milan. And that church happened to reach out to me through the foundation page without knowing. They didn't know that we had been there. And yeah, I asked yeah. them, I was like, do you, I think I know the name of this church. I think I've been there. We blessed our kitty. And she said, no, we don't do that here. We don't bless animals. <laughs> She's like, are you talking about a different church? I'm like, no. And I sent her a picture of London. She goes, that is my church. And that was my husband that blessed her cat. And that's she didn't incredible. even know. And I didn't yeah. know. So we had to give it to them. Yeah. And they were a great candidate, too. And that's where, I, you know, Kyle kind of got to be the picker of who got that one. And that one was for that reason, a special connection. Special. For sure, yeah. So they yeah. basically contact the foundation and then they, well, we have the grant that comes right. out saying, you know, here's your deadline to write in and um, they write in and we read, go, we go through them and um, we grant them. And another one's going to come out um, next month, the month after in August. Okay. Uh, you guys don't even know about this yet, but I'm calling it the Iron Man uh, grant, <laughs> AE grant, because, um, the people, the NPC promoters, Glory and Michael Buckle, mm -hmm. they donated, they sponsored an AED. That's awesome. The bodybuilding competition. Yeah. I, I belong to NPC. If you put <laughs> it out. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, they yeah. donated an AED because they're like, this is your sport and we need to do something for you. And I just messaged her yesterday. I'm like, what do you think about calling it the Iron Man AED? Because Iron Man is like on August, the end of this, end of August. Uh, she was all about it. So... I kind yeah. of put names to That's them. Fantastic. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, and, okay. not, not that they're personal enough already, right. but yeah, yeah. yeah. But there is one that might be, like, I have, um, I'm in a competition right now, well, contest, for muscle and fitness hers. Mm -hmm. And I, I want everybody to vote. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So so how, please vote for me every so, day. So how, how long does that go till? Well, the new round start, started today, okay. and it goes until the 17th of July. I'm in round three. Okay. And um, you vote for me once a day for free. And if you want to buy votes, it goes all goes to the Wounded Warrior Project after your free one. But you... You uh, vote once a day, and right now I'm in first place. Yes. I made it to yes. round three, and it's $20,000 for the winner, 
and I plan on giving all that money to London Strong and I plan on doing a Miss Health and Fitness because that's what it is. Miss Health and Fitness 2019 uh, is what I'm going for and I'm going to do an AED once a month because it should buy between 10 and 13 AEDs. Wow. So I'm going to do a Miss Health and Fitness AED grant every month. So if people want to help the foundation, Please. just vote for Tina every day. In the community. Day. Help, yeah. help the community. Because that, that 10, 10 like AD that. units So I'm out. praying, just mm -hmm. vote for me, please. Once a day. You can buy she doesn't them. ever ask for anything. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, being serious. No, <laughs> no I, you never ask for anything. So her to ask for this, it's a big deal. So yeah, that would be make, wonderful to get those AEDs huge, out there. Huge impact, yeah. Very cool. Um, anything else? All right. Well, I want to thank all three of you ladies. Really appreciate you stopping in and talking about Lyndon Strong. Um, so thanks for tuning in to Complete Runner Podcast and uh, catch us next time.